everyone, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to my channel. This reading is for the sign of Aries and it's intended for the next 72 hours. So let's jump straight into it and start you off with an oracle, uh, oracle card message for all the placements of Aries. This could have already happened, getting ready to happen, or it's happening now, even though it's intended for the next 72 hours. This can resonate from the cross watcher's perspective, a friend, family member, coworker. This could be their story. So feel free to reverse the roles whenever and however you see fit. Keep what resonates and please, please, please chuck what doesn't. There is no gender in tarot. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. And if this reading resonates in any way, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. All right, Aries. What's going on with Aries for the next 72 hours, Spirit? What do they need to know? Message of the highest good for Aries for the next 72 hours, Spirit. What's going on with Aries? You know, I tried to do a reading for you guys right before this, but I kept getting past energy, and I'm like, no one wants to hear that same story, you know? So let's see, Spirit, for the next 72 hours. What do you have for Aries for the next 72 hours? Now, if it comes out again, I'm sorry. What do you have for Aries? Why? Spirits, I hope you're not mad at me because I put the reading up. <laughs> now it's not coming out. What? What? Okay, we have sun. Paint the sun back into your sky. Number 11. I'm going to get one more. So someone could be doing that already. We have two more. Throne, your potential is endless, number 45. You could look up that angel number or break it down to a nine and look that up. And then we have mural, be your first, be your own first priority, number 25. You could look up that number or break it down to a seven and look that up. Okay. So this could be time for someone to, you know, put themselves first and see their own power and their own potential within themselves. Someone could already be doing that and knowing that their potential is endless, their power is endless, you know. Putting themselves first, being their own priority and just creating a full life for themselves, Aries. I do see that you're celebrating with friends. That three of cups right there. And then I saw the wheel of fortune too. It's like you're putting an end to a past cycle and starting a new abundant happy one, Aries. I'm definitely getting positive vibes. It's like you've painted the sun back into your sky or someone's doing that for you, you know? Oh, and then I would say that and see the Ace of Wands. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle one more time and get straight into it. <laughs> I am feeling new beginnings for you, Aries. Well, let's see. What do you have for Aries? Okay. We have the Ten of Cups. Wow. Water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. What do you have for Aries for the next 72 hours, Spirit? We have the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or have a strong lead in your chart, but it's all about hope and healing. What else do you have for Aries, Spirit? I definitely see new beginnings, new cycles. What else do you have for Aries, Spirit? I'm just feeling this new, new, new energy. I, wouldn't, I was about to say, I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of aces came out. I was literally just about to say that. And then the ace of cups came, up, came out. And then I see the three of cups again. So you could be getting, again, if you're not looking for love, this could be self-love with the ace of cups. A renewed sense of self and self-love. But I'm seeing it also as a love offer. I mean, the first card out was the ten of cups. So if, you're, if you want new love, it is available to you. We have the Eight of Cups. So again, the past energy comes out. I can't control the message, y'all. I'm sorry. And one more card for Aries. I tried. And oh my gosh, the Wheel of Fortune. And I was telling you I saw that. New cycles, new love. Overall energy, King of Swords. That could be you. That could be someone focused on you. But someone here, this masculine energy, is very serious about what they want. That could be you, 
you could be serious about wanting to be alone and knowing what you want in life. You know, you know what you don't want and you're learning what you do want. I think they both go hand in hand. But someone here is very clear about what they want. And with the Ace of Cups being the center of the reading for me, it's love. Whether that's self-love or love with someone else. Someone here sees the Ten of Cups with someone or they have hope for the Ten of Cups in their future. You know, the happily ever after. True love, soulmate, white picket fence, the dog, the house, or whatever your happily ever after looks like to you. Someone has hope for that. Or someone has hope to heal a situation that they're currently in and renew the love in that situation after closing out a cycle and walking away from someone or something that was no longer serving them. It, maybe it was a pattern or a habit or some type of conflict or a relationship, person, place, job. But someone here walked away from it to start a new cycle of abundance. But let's get into it. Let's get into the clarification. I'm getting that a cycle has already been closed out. And if not, it's a need to. For a new, happy, abundant cycle to begin. I'm getting, again, new, new, new. The Wheel of Fortune is a 10, which is endings. And when there's endings, there's new, beginning, new beginnings and vice versa. And with the sun, throne, and mural with the oracle cards, it's just screaming new beginnings for me. And making yourself a number one priority. All right, let's clarify the 10 of cups. Clarify the 10 of cups for Aries. Sorry, y'all. Seven of Swords. Oh, well, I was saying sorry because I was... The Seven of Swords is the lying, cheating, and stealing card. But it could be someone planning and plotting, you know, thinking or acting strategically on how they're going to get their Ten of Cups with you. Again, this could be from the cross watcher's perspective. So make it fit how it fits. There's also an element to someone lying and cheating and stealing in the past. And if you get a hint of that being involved now, you know, make it fit how it fits. But I'm seeing it as past energy, if that's how it resonates for you. But I'm also getting that someone here could be plotting on you. You could be plotting on someone. Clarify the Ten of Cups one more time. But let's see what the other cards are. Clarify the Hanged Woman. So someone, yeah, someone's plotting a love offer with this Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh, and then the Four of Cups, an opportunity and then the lovers. Okay, so I am seeing it that way. I'm definitely seeing it as someone's trying to see all sides of a situation and gain some enlightenment, taking a temporary pause and getting very clear on what it is they want or who it is that they want. And they're acting very, you know, strategically i hate i keep i feel like i keep saying it but that's how they're acting they're planning and plotting on their person or their job or whoever it is or whatever it is someone knows what it is they know what they want and they're going after it because the overall energy is this king of swords and for me and tarot the masculine whether you're male or female is the person taking action and the feminine is the one receiving so someone is clear on what they want and they're going after it with the plan clarify the star clarify the star are. We have the Nine of Cups, so there's hope for wish fulfillment here. Someone is plotting and planning on their wish fulfillment. Someone knows their potential, or someone sees your potential, could be both. You know your potential and someone sees it. Or you know someone's potential and you see it. You know, make it fit how it fits. But someone is about to paint the sun back into your sky, or you're doing it for yourself, or you're doing it for someone. And someone's about to make you their first priority. Or you're about to make someone that your first priority. Make it fit how it fits. Clarify the star one more time. There could be some competition here for you. Or you could be competing for someone. There's some type of competition involved for a soulmate. Or a wish fulfillment. But there's hope here. Clarify the ace of cups. Queen of cups. So someone here is very in touch with their emotions. And open to receiving. Someone's very intuitive. So... So there's a king of swords here, whether you're male or female. Someone's very clear on who and what they want 
and they're taking action. They're not stopping till they get there. They have a plan and they plotting. <laughs> and then there's this queen of cups, someone who's very intuitive and very emotionally available, emotionally open, emotionally giving. She could be receiving this ace of cups. Or giving it, but I'm seeing it as someone offering it to her. Clarify the Ace of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. Union. Could be marriage. But there's a divine union here. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Whoa. The Emperor. That <laughs> flew out. So there could be an Aries involved. Or someone could have a strong lead in their chart. Someone could be... This could be a father figure. Or someone could be a boss or a leader in some way, shape, or form. <sighs> there could be someone walking away from some type of controlling job or person or partner. Or not listening to a father, maybe. I get that someone's walking away some, from some type of controlling person or behavior. But make it fit how it fits. Clarify the Eight of Cups one more time. However it fits for you, I'm definitely seeing someone walking away from someone who's controlling or something, some type of controlling behavior. Clarify the Eight of Cups. One more time. Eight of Cups. Yeah, there was an imbalance within whatever that was. There was no equal give or take or someone wasn't getting back what they were receiving. Someone wanted back what they were putting into something and they weren't getting it. So someone left that that could be an ultimatum here. Hmm. But someone is definitely leaving some controlling person behind or a controlling behavior behind. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Four of Swords. So someone's blocking out a karmic cycle, putting an end to one and blocking it out or blocking this controlling person. And then we have the King of Cups right here. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. One more time for me, please, Spirit. Clarify the wheel. Whoa, okay. We have the Princess of Pentacles. So someone here could have an Earth sign child. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or someone here could be younger. Someone here could have a water sign child. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or someone here could just be a younger water sign or just taking on these energies. But that is definitely a love offer for someone who's very clear on what it is they want. So everyone's going to fall into a different group here. You could have been dealing with someone who was controlling and wanted things their way in a relationship and you walked away or they walked away from you because you were controlling. And now they want to come back and offer something and, making, and make things right and someone here is blocking it off. And then I'm seeing new love offers after for the other group who've walked away from a controlling type of person, someone who was possibly lying, cheating, and stealing. I'm seeing it as you getting maybe two love offers. You're getting a, a love offer maybe from a past person who was very controlling that you walked away from. Maybe they want to... They, they could be... Ugh. Sorry. The past person could be proposing, plotting to propose to you marriage or promising higher commitment and it's really just a plot to gain control over you again and you probably know this already i get the sense that you do and you're blocking it out you're not getting back on that karmic wheel that karmic cycle but i'm not gonna talk too much about the past because i see i feel that you already know so let's talk about the new with these new love offers I'm seeing this as someone, this new love offer is someone who's very clear about who it is they want. It could be you, but someone here is very clear about who it is they, that they want with this new love offer being made to you. Aries. Definitely, someone here definitely wants a union, higher commitment, possibly marriage. Or it could lead to that. Someone here is seeing long term with you, or you're seeing long term with someone. We have the Ace of Cups, a love offer, a Page of Cups, a new love offer from someone new. And the Ace of Cups is a new too, new cycles. I'm just seeing new, new, new. And I said that when I was getting the Oracle cards out before the tarot. I'm just getting new cycles. Someone sees 
long term with you with this ten of cups first card out you have the ten of cups and the nine of cups this is definitely wish fulfillment marriage long term new cycles new love union blocking out the past and welcoming the new you're clear on what you want someone is clear about you whether this is a if you're still dealing with someone if you're still in a relationship with someone you could be leaving a past cycle and renewing love and if you've left someone behind, there is an opportunity for a new love here. All right, Aries. So if this reading resonated in any way, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a share. And I send you all peace, blessings, and love. If you would like to book a personal with me, my email is in the description box below. All right, Aries. Bye.